How's everyone doing? Today I have a Blu-ray collection update with three pickups. And if you've seen any of these, definitely let me know what you think of them. And let me know which one of these is your favorite. Leave me those comments down below. And all three of these are ones that I have not seen. They're all new releases. Uh, the first one is actually an import from Australia. And this is from uh, Imprint, which is an incredible uh, Blu-ray label. Uh, and their releases have been region free. So uh, if you import them, they will play in uh, American Blu-ray players. And Imprint is an offshoot of uh, Via Vision. Uh, and I really love, they're like their, you know, the classy design, like Paramount Presents kind of line, things like that, where it's their premium line. Um, and I love the design for uh, physical media fans. It's a complete package, the transfer, the special features, the movies that they choose, uh, but just the interior artwork, everything like that. And you know, at the top they have you know, the year right there it was made. And if you line them up by the spines, you can have the whole shelf like that. It, it reminds me of Criterion Collection a lot, actually. Um, and again, this is one that I haven't seen, but I remember seeing this cover uh, in Blockbuster when I was a kid and always wanting to check it out because I always thought Monica Bellucci is hot and she is hot. Uh, she's been around for a long time. I know, I remember her back in Irreversible, Gaspar knows it, Irreversible, and she's been in a bunch of other things uh, throughout the years. But uh, this is one I've been meaning to check out for a long time, so I'm very happy to add it to the collection. Uh, Imprint has released a lot of movies that we don't have over here in the U.S., uh, the Gift is another one that I absolutely love, a, a darker role for Keanu Reeves, but there's so, regarding Henry, so many different Blu-rays that they have that we haven't had here in the U.S., so I picked up a bunch from the Mothman Prophecies, too, uh, but I love these, like, limited edition ones with the slip covers and stuff, like, or slip cases, and um, they do the awesome box sets, too. But this one basically is set during World War II, and it's an Italian town, it's an Italian film. And it's about this uh, little kid, this teenage boy, who basically falls in love with uh, this woman right here, object of his desire, kind of like a coming of age. And it's in a small town, it's this narrow-minded small town. So, uh, you know, there's gonna be some central aspects. I remember reading about this too, and the little kid, I think he was like uh, 16 or something at the time, but he had never seen uh, a woman naked uh, before Monica Bellucci in this movie. So that's interesting. And it's from um, uh, the writer, director, Giuseppe uh, Tornatori, who directed uh, Cinema Paradiso, who, like, if you watched the movie The Fablemans from Steven Spielberg, if you like that one, definitely check out Cinema Paradiso. Uh, definitely a great passion for film, and that's uh, definitely shown there. And here's that cover. How awesome is that? A little bit of side boob action. <laughs> but you can see there's a bevy of bonus features, which I definitely appreciate. And then you get the disc artwork and then interior artwork. So I have, they always do an amazing job. One of my favorite companies releasing Blu-rays worldwide. Uh, again, I put them on par with uh, like Criterion Collection, just from the films that they choose, uh, the packaging, and then uh, the special features and things like that. I, I actually think they're a step up as far as the packaging because you have the outer slip case uh, and sometimes uh, different artwork too. So I definitely appreciate that. I'm excited for this one. Can't wait to check it out again. I remember uh, just, you know, lusting over her uh, on this cover in Blockbuster for years when I was a kid. So I can finally watch it. Long overdue. Next up, uh, this uh, next two are review copies. Uh, this one is uh, sent over from Lionsgate Fool's Paradise, directed by, uh, written directed by Charlie Day. Uh, of course, everybody knows him from Always Sunny, which I absolutely love the heck out of that show. Let me know what your favorite comedy show of all time is. And let me know what your favorite Italian movie is of all time. And um, this one right here, to me, uh, I don't know if he's kind of playing like the Charlie Chaplin, uh, the, the Tramp character uh, from The Tramp. Uh, that's what it kind of looks like. He has a very like hipstery vibe. And apparently he gets out of a mental institution. And uh, Ken Jeong is, uh, I think, like a publicist. And he uh, replaces, he gets him to be like a movie star. He replaces another movie star who's just a pain to work with and he becomes a big star. And just basically all of these different, you know, publicists, directors, stars, uh, you know, things like that. And producers just latching onto him and his rise to fame, meteoric rise, and then crash as well. And a uh, very uh, popular ensemble cast. You got uh, Charlie Day, Ken Jeong, Kate Beckinsale, Adrian Brody, Jason Sudeikis, Edie Valco, Jason Bateman, Common, Ray Liotta, and John Malkovich. One of Ray Liotta's last films. I think Cocaine Bear might have been his last one. This was filmed in 2018. 
Um, but yeah, Cocaine Bear was a blast, by the way. But this to me, again, looks super hipstery from uh, the trailers and clips that I've seen. I'm gonna give it a fair chance because I do like Charlie Day and I like a lot of the people involved in the cast here. Um, the trailer didn't really do it for me. Uh, and even the concept, I feel like we've seen it before and uh, I haven't heard good things about it, but I'm hoping it'll be better than uh, what I've heard. And I actually really liked him in the movie Fist Fight, which was kind of like a remake of uh, Three O'Clock High, which I loved that one growing up as a kid with uh, this one, uh, Fist Fight had Ice Cube in it, but I actually really enjoyed that one much better than I was expecting to be. He's been in a bunch of stuff, but I mean, Always Sunny, that's what he's always gonna be known for. And I love that show still, it's hilarious to me. Uh, yeah, that was a Lionsgate release. Uh, doesn't look like it has any special features, unfortunately. Sometimes I'll find like the special features are more entertaining than the movie <laughs> a lot of times. And sometimes, you know, out of curiosity, I'll check them out. Uh, and this one's from Sony and it is uh, Love Again. And this, the concept kind of made me think of the Jennifer Lopez movie that came out a couple years ago, uh, Marry Me, with uh, Owen Wilson, which I actually liked, which surprised me. I try to, you know, I'm not a big romance movie guy, but I try to go in with an open mind. And I like the, the some of the songs in there. Marry Me, Marry Me, that song from J-Lo, I thought it was actually really good. And it was better than I was expecting it to be that one. So that's what I'm going to give this one a fair chance too. It kind of has like a similar feel to it. This one has uh, Celine Dion and it has uh, Priyanka Chopra, Jonas, and then Sam Hoogan. And uh, basically her fiance passes away and she starts texting his number and then you know after a certain period uh the number gets reassigned to somebody and it's him and so she's texting him and they start talking communicating and they fall for each other and he's a journalist and he starts working with uh celine dion who's playing herself in her first film role it says and so basically you know she's gonna help them uh meet and uh you know fall in love essentially in person and uh, uh you know i'm gonna give it a fair chance let me know what your favorite romance movie is and uh, let me know your favorite uh, underrated comedy movie, like one that you would, isn't as popular as it deserves to be. Uh, but so yeah, definitely give me some romance movie recommendations because again, I'm really picky. It's not you know it's one of my least favorite genres. Uh, Musical is probably my least favorite genre. Horror is my uh, my first favorite by far. Then uh, sci-fi, then westerns. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm more forgiving for like horror movie tropes than I am with romance movie tropes. It's sometimes a little bit too schmaltzy and heavy handed for me and just too absurd, like catfish. Like I, I've been watching catfish a lot recently, uh, my girl and I, and like these episodes could be like five minutes long. You've been talking for seven years. You've never talked on the phone, never video chatted. Guess what? It's not them. Like some of these things are just so absurd to me. Um, so I feel like a lot of times in these ro uh, romance movies and stuff and rom-coms, they play up certain, you know, things that are just so cliche and it's just too much. And I just can't, you know, sometimes you have to suspend disbelief, but you can only do it so much. So, uh, hopefully this will be, you know, uh, better than I'm expecting it to be. Um, tempering my expectations, uh, it does have a, uh, finding love again and then uh, feature and then deleted scenes for the special features. And... I love that this one has so many special features. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, but there we go. These are three films that I have not seen. Uh, a couple of review copies in here. And then, uh, you know, Melina. I, I'm so excited. Monica Bellucci. It's absolutely stunningly, breathtakingly beautiful. And again, this is one that I remember seeing in the video rental store for like years as a kid, especially like Blockbuster. Uh, so I finally, I remember when they were going out of business, I was like, oh, I'm totally going to pick that up. And then when I went back to get it, somebody else already got it. Uh, I remember when that went out of business, like people were literally getting hundreds. I was like, oh, come on, leave some. Uh, but there we go. I will be watching all of these in the next coming days. And once I do view them, I will be talking about them more in depth in a coming uh, video. So let me know if you've seen any of them and what you think of them. Leave me all those comments down below. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.